Hey, good afternoon guys. Uh, this afternoon, well this morning, uh, uh, Steel Masters came over and dropped off uh, some uh, three inch pipe and some purlings and stuff like that because I'm kind of tired of working out in the dirt and sun and it's super hot out here so decided to go ahead and take a little bit of time off of uh, cars and stuff like that and start working on my shop. It's not really a shop, it's going to be a smaller, uh, it's a one car garage with a one car carport and uh, well I decided to build it and I'm going to turn it into a barn uh, that kind of goes with the channel Joe's bus barn so I'm going to go ahead and build a garage that looks like a red barn those traditional red barns well let me show you guys uh, I said steel masters uh, here in Regan City they came over this morning and uh, I believe it was like 8 30 8 45 and they dropped off this uh, three inch drilling pipe I mean uh, it's real I mean, it's going to last for quite a while, so I'm going to use that as my uh, posts. I have uh, purling over here. That's going to be my surround, and I'm going to build my trusses out of the 4-inch um, purling. Uh, the garage, it's 24 feet deep, and it's 16 feet wide, and then the little carport is 12 feet wide, so 4 inches more than enough. Uh, before I forget, uh, I already started. I had set up my forms for my cement. Uh, I just, I've been procrastinating and just setting it off later and later. I think I have to do it now. And I already started digging my uh, holes for my uh, for my posts. Uh, posts going to be. Uh, they're 12 feet long, so three feet underground cemented, and then nine feet sticking out and then of course the arch gives it another five feet so in total it's going to be 14 feet tall at the tip of the roof so this here is going to be my garage and that other side is going to be my carport all right let me go ahead and start building some uh, trusses so i already started guys i didn't record the first one but i'm going to go ahead and get the rest i already started welding my trusses as you can see Basically, the first section is five foot, and it's got a 37 degree the angle on the bottom, and the top has got a 15 degree, and then the one going to the top is five feet two inches, with a 15 and a 50, and that'll create half of the arch, and then I just duplicate the other side, and that gives me a 16 foot span from side side well guys uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and cut some of these uh, pieces that I'm gonna be welding together to build the truss uh, for my sp uh, specific size measurement I measure my first one at five feet okay The bottom angle is 38. The pitch or whatever the and over here on my five foot mark it is a 15. Well guys, uh, my next cut is going to be 5 feet 2 inches. And again, uh, that's what I got for my size of a uh, little garage, carport, whatever you want to call it. 5 feet 2. The angle on that side is going in, so this one has to go in also. And again, this is a 16.
Well guys, now that there's a pitch for one side. So that's one half of the arch for the barn. All I have to do is cut me another one, weld them together, and that'll give me the arch like the one I have already uh, made. So let me go ahead and weld this one. I went ahead and stacked them up that way I'm closer to them being all the same I went ahead and welded all the outsides I'm gonna flip them over and weld it on the inside just to be safe and but dude I mean, this little welder for the price seems to be done all right dude it's a Harbor Freight and Chicago Electric I'm running it at max on the power and it seems to be doing fine with 30 uh, point er, 35 flux core wire so right now I'm gonna go ahead and weld the brace okay that's the one that's where the I'm gonna weld it to the actual leg or the post of the garage I'm gonna put a brace from that joint right there all the way over to that joint right there just to give it a little bit more strength in the middle and then I'm going to put a small little brace coming from the top to the brace that's going to be going so let me go ahead and cut that brace and uh, get it welded on Well guys, uh, that's the way that it looks now with that brace. And you'll be surprised, I mean that brace alone stiffened that uh, truss quite a bit. Uh, on the outer, on the, on the trusses that are going to be on, facing the outside on the front and the back, uh, this is going to be it. Once I get them on there, I'm going to get a couple of... Uh, purlings going down onto the double plate on that uh, post but on the inner ones there's two that go on the inside I am gonna have to cut another piece of purling this is gonna be a little a little tricky but I'm gonna cut that angle there and that angle there and I'm gonna weld them just for extra support on the two on the two that go on the inside so well guys uh, that brace right there that is for added support I was gonna go all the way to the bottom but decided to go up three inches I mean it's still gonna do the same thing so let me go ahead and uh, weld this one in and uh, continue Well guys, there's uh, 
my connector, my okay, truss, and then there's this middle bracket, and then this there's this angle bracket. I'm not gonna weld all the way through, guys. I'm just gonna overheat that purling. I did three spots there. I did two spots. I gotta do the bottom, and that's gonna be it. That's just a little brace for extra support. I don't think it needed it, but I put it on just to be safe. And uh, oh, I still gotta do the same to the other side. This is gonna be one of the trusses that goes in the center or in the middle. Well, since we got the one side, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark up this side, cut it, and go ahead and get it welded so I can fin go ahead and finish that truss. Well guys, uh, now that I marked it, let me go ahead and get it cut and then we'll come back to welding it. Well guys, uh, we got it cut. I'm going to put a little strap on there to tighten it up and go ahead and weld it. Let me Well guys, uh, welded one truss, one truss is done, so let me go ahead and stand it up next to the bus so you can guys can see what it looks like. Up there guys is going to be one of my trusses in the center of the building uh, I got two my building is 24 feet deep and I put a uh, post every eight feet so I'm gonna have uh, four trusses this is uh, truss two and three the two in the center uh, trusses one and two are gonna be a little different because I can actually brace those up a lot more than these two without uh, Interfering with, interfering with my uh, clearance inside the building. I did this to have a higher roof because I intend to put a uh, two post uh, car jack in there. So uh, let me go ahead and continue guys. Well as you can see again I put one on top of the other just to make sure that my uh, uh, trusses are the same after I weld them. I don't want one to be wider than the other or nothing like that so I'm using the first one as a template. I'm gonna go ahead and create the rest using the first one as a template. I got that center brace that goes across. Cut, let me go ahead and get that welded. Well, as you guys can see, I already welded that top little set, uh, brace going across, and I got that little uh, ratchet strap pulling the legs in. <clears throat> I'm trying to make both of them the same, so I'm using that to kind of close the legs up while I weld. That heat is going to allow that steel to kind of bend a bit, and I'm trying to get them the same. I still have to move this one on this side, maybe an inch in. But I gotta get this one on this side. I gotta get that brace on there because I don't want that one to move at all. So let me go ahead and uh, cut that brace and uh, continue.
Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and weld that brace, and that's going to be it for tonight. I mean, I shouldn't be welding at night, but I do want to finish these two, so let me go ahead and get this one welded. Well guys, uh, that's going to be it for this one guys. We got the two middle trusses. I mean, I know it took me a while. Uh, I've never built these, so I had to whole bunch of trial and error. Uh, I didn't mess up too much of the steel. I think I messed up one, like maybe, maybe a five foot section that I cut too short. I'm still going to use it as a brace, but I didn't mess that one up. But all in all, well, I do have to get that one welded in. Uh, I got the two center trusses built up. Uh, I got the front and rear built up. I got to install those, then I'll just brace them up. Those are a little different. Uh, they're going to have a brace right there in the, uh, at the weld going down to the post. They're going to have another one at the weld going down and then another one at the weld going down. So this one ain't going anywhere. I need it to reinforce these two because they're going to be suspended like uh, no braces in the middle or nothing. So, well guys, I'm not uh, much of a trust builder, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and comment guys. Thank you for watching.